So I talk about what I'm doing, sit in this chair, and how it happened. All right. I'm Brian Clary. I'm the editor of Triad City B. I guess I'm the editor in chief of Triad City B. Um, here in the beautiful Nussbaum Center in the industrial section of Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, took me 20 years to get here, maybe longer, and um, and uh, and I'm very pleased with my new job. I mean, I, I guess I could tell the whole thing. I, I was uh, been a journalist since the '80s. Uh, that's when I started writing. I was in college. Um, I've been involved in the alternative press since like the early '90s. Um, I've been reporting in Greensboro since 2000, Greensboro and the Triad since 2000. Um, I was the editor of a different paper for about nine years, and I was fired on election day. Um, and I haven't had an election day off in like 10 years. So it was, I had been planning something anyway. I knew that I, my time was short at that gig. So, uh, yeah, we uh, basically, I just called some of my friends. We got together, threw in our money, and hung out a shingle. And, um, and that's triadcitybeat.com with hyphens between the words, which is a whole other story in itself. I'm Alan Broach. I'm publisher of Triad City Beat. Uh, before Brian approached me, I was comfortably retired after a 30-year stint of owning Broach and Company Marketing Communications. Uh, he asked for my opinion on what he needed to do, and I told him, and he did it. So here I am. He said I, I needed to be part of this thing. And I figured as many different things as I've done in my career that being publisher of an Alt Weekly would be, look good on my resume for my next position. Uh, probably be in my 80s by then. Uh, I, I love what I'm doing now. It is a compilation of many things that I've learned over the years as a community volunteer with all the boards I've served on and certainly with the advertising agency business. Uh, it's, it's somewhat different in that it's a lot more fast and frenetic than anything I've ever worked in in my life. Uh, the, the editorial that we have in this publication is what convinced me to take the job. Brian, of course, is awesome. Jordan Green is intimidating. He's so bright and does such a great job of unbiased reporting. And Eric Ginsberg is also really good to be as young and, in essence, new in this business as he is. I'm proud to be able to support these people in any way I can. My job exclusively is to help provide enough money and add sales and revenue to keep these guys writing. We're about to come into our fourth issue. It's coming out on Wednesday. Uh, we're in this for the long haul. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of fun. Companies are made up of, of people. Um, and I, um, I have a few disadvantages in this marketplace. I'm going up against some very wealthy people who put out weekly and daily newspapers. Two millionaires and a billionaire, um, as I like to say. I am none of those things. I'm on a good day, a thousand air, um, and it doesn't last. Uh, so we have to use other resources, and I think that people are more valuable than money anyway. So what I did was I got the best people I know. Um, two of them were my employees at Yes Weekly, Jordan Green and Eric Ginsberg. I was able to convince them to defect and come over here. Um, and one of the ways I did that was They've invested in the company. They're part owners of the company. Everybody who works here, for the most part, except for one employee, is an owner of the company. One of the things that makes this publication work so well is that all of the key players are owners. We all have money in the business. I have probably less than anyone else, which is uh, the way I think I like it. Calling up my old friend Alan Broach, who is just a wonderful successful businessman, activist, example, role model, whatever. He, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things come after the comma. You know, Alan Broach, comma, there's a lot of things you can put in that little list right there. And he, I asked him how I could do something like this and he told me. <laughs> and we've been, we've been working on it for almost a year. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, Anyway, so 
I have great people. Um, and everybody here does the job of at least one and a half, per, one and a half people. Um, that's how we're able to do a better job than our competitors. We're all award-winning journalists on the editorial side. Jordan Green and I have worked together for nine years. We have a really tight, really solid, very high-performing editorial department. Um, the design department is just one guy right now. <laughs> uh, and he really knows what he's doing. Um, and over on the advertising side, I've got a veteran print sales person and I've got a pharmaceutical rep that I've converted over to print sales. And of course, Alan, who, um, who knows more about this stuff than any of us put together. So uh, that's, that's how we're able to, to do what we do for so little. And that's how we're able to compete with the rich guys. It's a lot of fun. I don't really know what else to say.